<laughs> what it do, what it do. It's your boy Low Pro with the GoPro, and we back again. We back again here, first time for the 2024. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a good year. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back. But boy, do we got something in store for you guys today. That's the title of this video. Out with the old, in with the new. Big things happening around BSO and trucking. Right now, we are taking our trip out to Iowa. Going to pick up my dad's new truck, 2017 Kenworth W900L, Aerodyne flat with a cat. Come on. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, we just stopped right here a while, while to meet the finance man. Dad's signing the papers right now. Literally on the hood of the rental car. He's signing the papers right now. He's getting ready to go inside and get something to drink. And then we're out of here, man. We're rolling. Um, we're going to go out here 15 hours. 15 hour ride to Iowa. Um, there's a dealership out there that has this truck that Dad found. And uh, we sold the Western Star. The Western Star is gone. It is out of here. Bye byes. So dad always wanted, you know, a whole fleet of Kenworths and he had two Kenworths in the Western Star. Um, what well, the Peterbilt, of course, but um, now the Western Star is gone. And all K-Wops, Aerodyne flats with cats. So that's exciting. You know, dad finally having this little fleet of Kenworths. Um, man, I can't wait to show you guys this truck. It's a little rough around the edges. It's got, uh, it's got some spots that need a little help with the paint, you know, around the battery boxes and stuff like that, and on the frame underneath the hood. But nothing too bad, nothing too bad. Easy fix, easy fix. Um, but you guys stay in store. I'll be back with you guys here in a little bit. Dad's meeting with the finance man, and then we're on the way to fucking Iowa, baby. Let's fucking go. Low pro with the GoPro, baby. Good year this year. I can't wait. Where are we going, Big Chief? Where are we going? To fucking Iowa to buy another truck. I should really have my head examined. Head examined. Oh, yeah. let's roll this window up. That's probably pretty annoying to the fans in the background. Um, where are we at right now? Going by Fort Meade in Maryland. So we're about 15 plus hours away. Long ride. Yes, it is dealing with you. But guess what? What'd you get rid of last week? that lovely western star that i'll never have to look at again it was good seeing it relieved the driveway huh y'all have no idea <laughs> but then came the stress of finding another truck having to find another truck if i wanted to keep my driver and keep my income coming in right free, you know for the number of trucks i had but i think we found one yes we i think we found a nice truck it's a little it's gonna be a little rough in a couple of ways but at the same time it's a lot newer than anything i got it does have a cat in it so i'm feeling good about those things so hopefully when i get out here and see it in person it's not you know a bunch a of buzz stuff. kill well a bunch of stuff that i couldn't see in the pictures i think we picked up on the majority of the stuff and i can live with what i've seen so far so hopefully it's not a you know photo bitch to where it looks good in the pictures but shitty in person exactly exactly and then we're going to be, if we everything works out we're going to get the truck and we're going to stop through iowa 80 on the way back hopefully there's some clean trucks out there at the truck stop uh we can walk around and look at it, get some video of yeah, uh, yeah I, we're definitely interested more in this truck just because it's similar colors to the orange truck yeah, that so you already have and, and it's I, the opposite and i told you i wanted air, always wanted all aerodyne flats and that's what this is and it's a 2017 glider with a cat so it matches everything else i got so i don't have to carry a bunch of extra parts so i guess i spent a little more money than i wanted to but i should be happy with it. thank you thank you and that's what uh that's exactly what i was telling them uh really earlier while i was at wawa um when you were meeting the finance man and I took a couple pictures of it too, by the way, and uh, so we could have it in the video of you like signing the paperwork or whatever, sitting there oh, talking okay. to him. <laughs> oh, so but I was telling him, I was like, now he's got all Aerodyne flats with cats, baby. Yeah. Huh? That sounds good. You make a t-shirt out of that. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll check back in with you in a little bit. We'll yeah. see you uh, when we stop and get some breakfast. I don't know where we're stopping, but we're gonna stop it, and get it'll something. It'll be lunch by the time we stop. I Probably. Stop it's gonna be right. lunch. It's gonna. We're gonna skip breakfast. We're gonna skip breakfast. But, deuces.
we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Good morning, good morning. Today's the big day. Whew. Like we stopped here somewhere along the road. Right before Davenport, I think. But today's the big reveal. Big Chief, are you excited? Yeah. I hope it's uh not and that it's pretty easy decision because it's pretty effing cold. Ah. Wind blowing about the party. What did you say the temperature was? The first temperature before the wind chill. It's 11 degrees where the truck is, and it's negative nine with the wind chill. We gonna have to look over this truck inside the car. I ain't getting out. Nah, I'll get out. But man, it's gonna be a cold when there's a light dusting outside. But we just woke up. Where did we stop here last night? Right before Davenport? Yeah, about half hour, 45 minutes for Davenport. Davenport, Illinois? Yeah. No, Iowa. Isn't it Iowa? Davenport, Iowa? Yeah. They're right there, close to the border. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. while he's looking for that. Stopped here at Old Girl Best Western, and we're about to get up. Go check this truck out. Y'all stay tuned. Are in Anawan, Anawan? Anawan, yeah. Anawan, Illinois. Ah, yeah. oh, damn. Not bad. It's not. A, it wasn't a bad hotel. It wasn't a bad hotel. I slept pretty good. But we're gonna go check this thing out. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see y'all in about. Hour and a half. Hour and 45 minutes. Close to two hours. Yeah, you're right. All right. See you guys soon. Isn't it? I've got to be honest with y'all. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. It's really cold. Me and dad aren't no, going to. Me and it's dad. It's cold as fuck. It's cold as fuck. Okay, yeah. cold as fuck. Okay, give me that. But. We don't want to call the guy before we get there because we don't want the truck started. Because we kind of want to start it in the cold and see how it warms up. So, I'm a little nervous. I just hope everything goes well because I want to take this thing home. I don't want to drive no RAV4 back to Maryland. I don't even. Nervous. Fucking ag plate's going to be right by the Walmart. Up here, made the left behind the Dollar Tree. Second plate. One minute. Yeah. Ace Hardware. Oh, they need me. I load them all for them. The place. <sighs> there it is. There it is. Right by Ace Hardware. I could have brought a load out here and go to Troy. I guarantee they got that bitch in the shop. Nope, nope there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh this is where the dueling was going. He's the priest, the owner. Coming down here, sign paperwork. Nope, never mind. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Pipes look good. The pipes do look good, don't they? And there she is. It's cold, it's minus nine wind chill out here. It's dirty, it's in a dirt lot, but it could be cleaned. We're gonna clean it up real good when we get it back home. It's not bad. The side of the rails look pretty smooth. Hey, 
side right here. And then this piece right here. Hey, See, but this battery bit, box is straight. A little bit up there, it ain't much up there. It looks like you painted this one. I can see B.S. Owens on the door. I'm trying to sit in it. Get out this fucking wind. Yes, sir. We taking that big old herd bumper off the front. Anybody want it, please contact us. 2,500, 3,000. We can make a deal. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Woo, we got to put a seat in this thing. Fuck yeah, we do. Well, here it is, y'all. Out here in Washington, Iowa. Huh? Got that low? Girl, cold, boy. Get yeah, it back in the pipe, bent. Uh, back in the pipe, bent. Right at the plant. You can't really see it, though. Watch the hood. There you go. Right. Oh, she's coming around quick. They just washed this thing yesterday and with the wind and everything coming through. This thing got it dirty and everything already from the uh, dampness and then the dust blowing from the yards, gravel lot. Literally just washed it yesterday, you couldn't even tell. It sucks though. The frame in some spots are a little rough, but it's not bad. It's not bad. We got a guy that could touch that up pretty good. Pretty good. Look, they have a cold water leak um, right where the oil rings on the oil cooler. But shit, it may not leak when we get it back home in the warmer weather. So hopefully that's good. But it's got the wide tanks with the wide strap, big tanks with the wide straps. Uh, got a set of hand cooks on it. Good tires. Half fenders. Little rise on the fifth wheel. I mean, other than this battery box right here. The battery box right here on the driver's side which I think our buddy Wayne Smith at the house got two battery boxes. So we might be going home and put battery boxes on this weekend. I think the only other pet peeve we didn't like was if they actually have lights on top of the sleeper. So we're gonna get those taken off. You know, they probably got nut certs, put nuts in them, put bolts in them, silicone them up until we, you know, eventually whenever it's gotta be, re be repainted. It ain't nobody gonna see up there, so. Nothing special. That's a good starter, 2017. Oh, my man got a bed back there now. Ah, oh, look at the oh, orange with the blue. <laughs> Pippin! Oh, dad's got his bed back. That's a plus. Got a fridge in here. Got the rubber floor. But, hey, dude. 
Dad doesn't mind a rubber floor. He likes the rubber floor back when he had the dump trucks too. Easy to clean, tire foam it, wipe it down. Not bad, y'all, but we're gonna go ahead and check out some paperwork. We'll be right back with y'all. Gonna go do some paperwork with Dad, and then we're gonna take this thing for a test drive. Get up with y'all in a minute. Ah. <laughs> Look at it, it takes up the whole screen.
said we can just make a big circle. All right. KDK? Yeah. It should be in oh, there. 217, yeah, yeah. I was on the driver's side. This one's on latch. <laughs> Don't fall back now. <laughs> See, somebody got a project over here. Yes, sir. Uh, test drive was good. Yeah, Road right. good. Right. No vibrations. How long you been in the sales business, Greg? Uh, we've been in. So I've been selling equipment for 20 some years. 20 some years. Yeah, but I started this business in 2016. 2016, okay. Yes, so you're the actual owner. I am. Okay. Good, good. Greg Cox. Cook. Cook, cook. Okay, you credit cook? Cook, yes, sir. Okay. K O C K. K O C H. K C H. Okay. I got the card. I'll put it on there. I'll make sure I'll get it right. <laughs> now nah, the truck road good, though. Good. Truck road good. It just needs a little bit of cleaning up, that's all. That's the, I guess that's the only downside of uh, cleaning the truck and then having all this wind with a gravel lot, huh? Yeah. It was swirling yesterday. I'm sure. We had 40 mile an hour gusts. I'm sure. I, I know the guys washed the truck and, and instantly it was 
We stop and drop the rental car off. Go to dump antifreeze in it. They don't even have any good red antifreeze. So dad's like, I ain't doing this. I'm gonna stop at the truck stop when we get to Iowa 80 and get some antifreeze. It says, sounds good. This motherfucker don't even put the radiator cap on. Now we didn't went to Iowa 80. Stopped at the TA to see if they had one. Now we done drove 15 more miles down the fucking street so we could get a radiator cap. Because this dumbass done left it on top of the reservoir. Can't take them nowhere. Can't take them nowhere. We're going to be 9 o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow night getting home. Shit. Anyway, man, I hope you all enjoyed the world's largest truck stop. Right now, we can ready to enjoy the ride home. We can ready to head our asses on home. What's up guys it's the next day we made it home sorry we didn't film much late last night i tell you we was tag teaming the heck at that thing i drove for a couple hours he drove for a couple hours but we drove 15 hours straight through got back at 6 16 this morning pulled in out there to the parking lot out in front of my house my uh, girlfriend met me out there picked me up so dad can go home he said i'm so tired i don't even feel like pulling in the neighborhood you on your own I said, all right, that's cool. Uh, she was getting up for work anyway. I called her. She came out there, picked me up, went to the house, and I went straight to sleep. It is now 3.30 the next afternoon. Dad just called me, said he's been over Michael Johnson and Wayne Smith's over there at Mark Cullison's house and trying to chase this problem with the brake light because we realized on the way home last night that on the ass end of the truck, the two little brake lights that are on there because they don't have no light panel, uh, the two little brake lights back there were just running lights. They didn't blink. They didn't no brake light, no nothing. So they spent an hour chasing that problem and uh ended up finding it getting it fixed but uh right now running over here to the peterbilt uh since it's broke down i gotta grab all my stuff out of it the ratchet straps the bar the wind to everything you know roll everything up roll the straps up the roller and all that stuff so i'm running over here right now we got a load out here that didn't get delivered the other day when my truck broke down so we can really take the new truck hook it to the trailer and deliver it to the lows down the street right from our house so we got a load home the other day so it just been sitting at the plant here for a couple uh couple days now but now that we got a truck back home we're gonna sit here hooked to this thing i had to go get the bar because dad ain't even gonna be able to get the straps loose at the store so old girl gonna be getting her first load today gonna get her first load so we're gonna go check it out let me go over here and grab these straps and stuff i'll shoot you a little content when i get over here and see the truck all bundled up over here blowed up just sitting there but we'll get back with you guys in a minute later all right y'all we're pulling up at richard hayden shop funny thing is brent spawns over here for the same thing brother same thing white smoke rolling out the pipes probably cracked head just like mine oh, i got all the large cars over here Oh, shit. Yeah, everything's on the other side. Oh, no, battery box, bar, and everything's in here. Oh, yeah, here she sits, y'all. Blowed up. We gotta get in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Well, 
if she sits y'all she's gonna be here i don't think richard's gonna be able to get to it till next week he's in there finger fit uh, finishing up one of our buddy uh wimpy's trucks and then he's got to order ahead for brent's truck then we're gonna figure out what head we want to put on here but shit once the motor gets done on this then it's got to go to the spring shop so she's gonna be out of commission for about two to three weeks so hopefully we'll get her back soon but well we were supposed to go to summer duck dragway next week march 9th eighth mile drag race but uh not gonna make it not gonna make it so We'll be, we'll be there. We're going to film, but I don't think we'll have a truck, which sucks. It would have been the first drag race of the year. Good, 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 good content. Drag racing. Eighth mile. First time I've ever raced eighth mile. All the drag races I've ever done has been quarter mile, but enough talking. I got to get the lows. So, anyways, real quick, while we're heading to lows, help dad. March night, Summer Dog Dragway. Um, it's down there off 17 on the other side of Fredericksburg. We were supposed to make it down there. It was originally, I think, a pickup event diesel pickup event but then they invited the semis and i was really hoping to make it down there and support the event so they could keep inviting us you know kind of put on a show and hope everybody wanted us back um but you know the truck had other plans so but we're still going to be there please still come out support the event if any trucks want to come down make any eighth mile passes you don't have to run the whole quarter mile it's just an eighth mile track um you know some quick take off you're done you know it's halfway 660 feet but if any of you guys want to come out and support the event, please come out. Again, it's at Summer Duck Dragway on the other side of Fredericksburg, Virginia, off, off of 17, I think it is. But on the next video, I'll put all the uh, uh, details and address and stuff in it. Maybe I'll put it at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, we're not going to make it, but we're still going to go. We're still going to film. We're still going to get some time content for you guys. So please, if any other semis are going to come out there, come out there, please come support the event so they can have us again next year. And hopefully, you know, our truck is on the, on our side and, uh, you know, doesn't want to miss any events and have its own mind and own plan. Well, we made it. Drop all the stuff off for Big Chief. Look, check him out. The right back and nerve like right there yeah but we can run back over here in a little bit and uh he told me to go over burger king so give me a large diet coke and i'm dying of thirst i'm just getting them straps off that trailer really warm out really warm out so uh gotta get him something to drink so he make it home don't pass out poor guy <laughs> old age it's gotta suck don't it you know what i mean it's gotta suck poor guy poor guy but we saved the day, but we back at it. I think we're out of here. It's your boy Low Pro with the GoPro. This is gonna be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Welcome to 2024, baby. Hey. I just, uh, here's your drink, old guy. I just put a before picture on Facebook. Did you? Well, here it is. This is the before pic. Then you're going to show them an after. An after, and yeah, I hope it's a big deal. Dropping it off at Farrell's Monday. Maybe you drink that thing like a camel. I feel like a camel right now. <laughs>